Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorious Space Corporation playthrough. Uh, we shall continue uh, with uh, the mysteries uh, of uh, the pyramids and the Stargate and everything, while slowly making sure the factory is working and we are reaching last technologies. Actually, I have come to realize that the the green, like a lot of naquitite and everything which is required for the sciences, is goes along with uh, the time you are supposed to spend, uh, like traveling to other locations and collecting data and trying to solve the in-game puzzle. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's the in-game puzzle, <laughs> but yeah. So it, it kind of th there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of uh, things to do yet, which I am very happy about. I kind of. Don't want this stream, the stream to end just yet, the, the playthrough to end just yet. <laughs> so I'm happy about this. Hey, Revan! How are you doing? Hello there! Uh, so as promised, I did nothing. However, there is one thing I have realized. I have one, I realized one thing. Uh, not, not exactly uh, relative to the, to the lore, but I have been looking at this. Solar, uh, it says 0%, right? Uh, and um, I realized uh, this is... Uh, in relation to the tiles, in, in, in relation to the solar panels, the percentage we're getting from the sun. But I have never tried... I have never tried going to the sun, going to our Dyson sphere. Where is the sun? Merlin may orbit. And I have never tried pointing, trying to point to Foenestro. Have I? Okay, actually I have. Maybe I have. Okay, 0% 34. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I thought that we, this could be uh, could be higher. I hoped, for example, if we were able to have, I, I don't know, 10%, then it would, uh, it would be very good. I mean, even 10%. Yeah. Uh, anyways, it's 0.3%, so it's not worth, uh, worth sending uh, energy there. So yeah, indeed, the only solution uh, to power up the Stargate, to get our 100 gigawatts, is the, um, is this. Now, uh, let's. Uh, I'd like to power it completely first and see see how it goes. But before powering it up, let's make sure uh, all our productions are online. That's like the first thing I, I'd like to uh, do <laughs> at, every, at the beginning of every stream to make sure everything's online. And, and we can see here the production of antimatter is offline. And the reason to this is uh, I'm gonna guess. Uh, the, yeah, the material testing packs. The material testing packs. Have we solved? Have we solved the issue with iron on noise? Yes, iron issues uh, are solved, so we do have iron once again. Now, uh, are we making material testing packs? They are being made in front of the spaceport right here. And indeed, they are offline because of iron, because of iron. Since iron production has been offline, um, it might need to, uh, to run for a bit before it's, uh, it's, able, to <laughs> it's able to be completely uh, back to normal because uh, we need buffers everywhere where we have uh, used them. However, one thing to note, we have eight uh, stations and they're served by six, oh, eight trains, sorry, eight iron trains uh, served by uh, six stations. It's uh, not bad. Wait, why are you passing through? Oh, you're going to the supply. Yeah, it's not bad, but um, maybe we could expand iron, you know, maybe you could expand it. But uh, let's see how it goes. Let's Let's see how it goes. Because iron is something we haven't touched for a very long time. <laughs> okay. Uh, second, uh, next, uh, let's let's check the models. The models are online. The models are online. The train cannot find a supply of uh, circuits, though. The circuits are produced here. The circuits are produced here, and we do. Ha yeah, we we kind of we are lacking circuit production. Like this one, the, the, the most optimized one is uh, is working well. However, it's not the case for the other one because of copper. And the uh, problem is copper, iron, copper, everything have not been uh, having vulcanite for a while. This is why everything is kind of offline. But as you can see now, copper is... Uh, um, I want to say back to normal, but we still kind of lack ores. We do have a ton of copper, but not, not it's not like completely running. Because we do lack ores. And the trains, the trains are looking a little bit... <laughs> they are not looking very happy here. Um, the trains do not look very happy. The stations, however, are uh, pretty full. Although these are so far away. These are so far away that we might want uh, more trains. Uh, all of them are kind of used, right? And these can uh, not find supply to go to. They cannot find a supply to go to. We, we, we might need even more 
copper stations. I mean, there are some of them which we can uh, easily expand to, but uh, let's see how it goes. Can you show all time consumption for iron copper? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, let me show you all time and let's also check out the recent one. I, uh, I need to have uh, the reflex to check this screen more often, which I do not do. Uh, so items, let's see, all time. Uh, we have made uh, 5,060 million copper plates and 350. Wow, that's uh, not that far away. I thought we have producing like 10 times more copper than iron. <laughs> uh, but if we look at one hour, 5.3 million, uh, yeah, 2 million. Maybe 10 hours is a bit more. 43 and 6. Yeah, that, that's that's uh, way more meaningful. We have 43 million in uh, 10 hours uh, versus only 7 million of iron. Yeah, we, we do use copper way more. So um, that is uh, significant. What, what's the... I guess the consumption... Uh, let's look at over like 10 hours. The consumption is the same. Like uh, If you compare this, we are uh, consuming as much as we can produce of copper, plastic, I mean, I mean that makes sense, right? That makes sense. Like we don't really have a have a buffer. Um, okay, so everything is kind of being produced. Let's have a look at uh, the current model status. Do we have any more models here? Oh, we have made. Oh, we have made a bunch of product productivity. Have you made some? Oh, we did make a uh, speed models. Uh, Twenty though, it's not exactly enough. How many do we need for the Naquitite? How many do we need to speed this up? We need. Oh yeah, we need like ten here, ten here. 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. We need 50. So let's wait until we have 50 models to improve this. However, we do have the productivity models uh, made, and they're everywhere. But you know what? You know, you know what we need? We need this. We need the teleportation technology. And it's gonna unlock us the Arco links. So in total for these, we will need 15,000 level 4 deep space science. 15,000. We can slowly uh, try to reach it. Because right now we have how many catalogs? Let's see. Let's have a look. We have made <laughs> four catalogs. Hold on. What is uh, what's wrong here? Oh. Okay, this one cannot output. Oh, 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 and oh, never mind, never mind. This is the this is the card. Never mind. And they lack. Oh. I, uh, I forgot to pass Granite Roads to these. <laughs> um, I feel like we should fix it. Uh, but uh, even if we fix it, there is like one card lacking here, which comes from... Oh, it's the it's the uh, Interstellar card. How much? Oh, we, we, we just needed the train. I think we have the cards, we just need the train. Uh, we just need the train. Not this one, not this one. Uh, yeah, look at this. We have lots of cards. We have lots of cards, we just need the train. And this is the ship. It's waiting. Uh, why are, are you not leaving? Probably blank at the cards. Oh no, uh, antimatter. Oh, we have no antimatter here. Because, let me guess, material testing packs. <laughs> yeah, material testing packs, yeah. Hello, Geekistan. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. So, uh, everything is kind of. Um, being slowly, uh, like slowly resuming the production, uh, it, it has been uh, kind of paused because of the issues earlier on. Let me uh, unload the like magnetic canisters here. We might need to to to, to be to make like to to increase uh production. So we are at the at the end game, where all we need to do is is to increase the production, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty easy thing to do normally. Everything is stylable. Uh, so, uh, what should be the first goal? Can we already continue with the lore? Oh, what is this? Oh, let's, let's repair. Let's repair those. Um, let's repair uh, these. Uh, need a bunch of stone to make more uh, repairs. And let's get this done. Uh, I also don't want to send it for more Arcospheres, simply because we cannot really use them. I mean, we don't really need more aquaspheres just yet. Although it, it may, it may, it may be a good problem is, problem is the uh, these are super expensive to produce, the collectors. Let's deposit these. Um, we will need them when uh, we get to the to the teleportation technology. But until then, hold on. Why why are there so many canisters? Why are there so many canisters? I thought they they would be requested here. Do we not have a train? 
<laughs> okay, okay, let, let's add trains. So we need one train to, to deliver canisters to, to their processing, and we need a train to deliver um, the, the cards. Let, let, let's do this. These are the most urgent uh, things that need to be done. That need to be done. Let's go to the mall first and add the two trains which, which are uh, missing. Activate logistics. And uh, what we will need to get are uh, trains, which are made uh, somewhere here. Yes, indeed. Mm. How many do we need? I think one for cards should be good enough, and one for uh, canister should be good enough as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have uh, two of each. Uh, one of each. Uh, two is really unnecessary. Oh, we had some of our locomotives. You know what? Let's just have ten, and uh, let's go. Uh, we, we might want to take some rails. We, we do have rails. And some land fuel. Okay, let's go. Add two trains. Which should enable the production of... Uh, of the uh, catalog level 4. So, here is where... We need to deliver the cards. So, uh, oh, we actually have uh, already one train which is not configured, I think. Either it's not configured or it doesn't have... Uh, uh huh. So so you can you have a train for it. We have a train. <laughs> Hold on. I'm guessing it's a, it's a, it's a mistake in the in the settings here. Oh, indeed, bad card, bad card. We're not reading the correct card. We are not reading the correct card. It should be this, this one. And now it's leaving. Okay, and it's gonna bring it's gonna bring everything. Okay, good. So this is fixed. Easy enough. Easy enough. And finally, up. Oh, let's deposit the Darko Spheres while we're here. And, uh, yeah, before leaving. Before leaving, we need to make sure we provide... Uh, bl um, what are the numbers? Oh, look at this. The numbers are not balanced. Hold on, what is going on? Why is it stopped? What? Fees. Uh, let's check. Fees, for some reason, cannot uh, get transformed into lambdas. Uh, why? We have a ton of fees here. They are, are they are inside. But the catalysts should never ex exit the system here. So why fees are not able to get transformed? These need to output uh, gamma into here. Why this one cannot output this gamma into this one? This one uh, has a gamma input, it, it has an inserter, and this one has a gamma uh, output. But the inserter is not pushing this one here. What's going on? Why can't you go here? Because of the output? The output is omega, and the output needs to come here. Wait, is it a soft lock situation? Is it a soft lock situation? Like uh, this cannot accept inputs until it has out, uh, while it has outputs, and this uh, this is the same. They try to insert into each other. This one has gamma, which it tries to insert into this one, which needs gamma, and it has omega, and it tries to insert into here, which has uh, which needs omega. But because both of them has uh, have outputs, they cannot output full. It says output full. What? I thought it, it's okay. Like you can have a buffer, you can still have inputs. We need buffer buffers incoming. <laughs> Did, you knew all along? You knew all along that this can happen? Hold on, I'm gonna remove it manually. I'm gonna remove Omega from here. Yeah, and now it's working. You didn't know? Uh, but that, that doesn't make sense. Look at this, look at this. It has an output, it still has two fees uh, as the input. What, what's going on here? That's not normal. That's not how, how assemblers work. My setup didn't run into this issue. Interesting. Because this basically uh, makes it so... Uh, it was working before, for, for, for like a long time. We have produced tons of items. Why suddenly it doesn't work? Uh, by the way, Factorio got updated. Not sure if it has uh, impact, but Steam updated Factorio before starting today. Uh, but yeah. It, it was working like for super long. 
hold on. So now what's going on? It has again a gamma, and gamma wants to go here, but it cannot because it has a, it has a a, a a xi. But xi, where should the xi go? Xi should go here, right? I remove it. I put it here. What is this? Guys, I bet this was working. Only one new feature related to our fluid outputs and uh, and being able to hide the arrows for non-usable outputs. Steam condensers. I didn't understand anything. <laughs> Only one new feature related to fluid outputs and being able to hide the arrows for non-usable outputs. Like, non-usable outputs? Steam condensers. Condensers. Condenser turbines. Oh, these? Th these non-usable outputs? Yeah, uh, you can hide them now? Wait, but that's uh, that's not factorial based game update, right? Or is it is it based game update? Why, why do, do we even have these? One for water out and two for the internal steam buffers. Ah, it's something that, that's used internally. Um, okay, makes sense. Yeah, they, they don't really make sense here, but... Uh, Oh, oh! It's 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 for for mods to be able to hide them in uh, with mod settings, right? So I I would need to update uh, mods in order uh, like a C mod, which uh, maybe in the future version is able to hide these arrows from the turbines, right? Something like this. But uh, which I cannot do, of course, because we're using the zero point five version. Uh, but yeah, this is very annoying. This is very annoying. I. I don't know why they cannot take them out. Like it's almost like as long as there there are. But hold on. Do we have epsilon can, that can go there? No, we don't. I think they changed the inserter code a little. Oh, really? Because this this basically makes everything here not work. Um, you know what? Let me get everything out of here. Let me get everything out. Uh, let me get everything out. I'm gonna get every except fees. We can we can have two fees. So th this is the initial state, right? We have two we have two fees here. We have two fees here. Uh, what we want to do is to have uh, two zetas here and two z uh, and two gammas here, or at least one. At least one. Hey, Gralaka pyramids, indeed, indeed. Uh, first of all, some uh, some fixing pass. <laughs> After we uh, fix some issues, we shall go to the pyramids. That's the plan. The pyramids, indeed. Um, but this is uh, kind of important uh, to have it running, <laughs> so we have to fix it first. Uh, do we have some uh, some zetas? Uh, not in the chest. Maybe in some of these. Oh, we have a Zeta here. Maybe we have... Uh... Okay, let, let's get one from here. So this is the setup. Uh, let's have a setup with only one catalyst. Maybe it's an issue with uh, two catalysts. Let's have a look. So we're going to be inserting a Zeta here. So this one uh, runs once. Uh, the items are Epsilon at the top and Gamma uh, at the bottom. And they're waiting for a Xi, from the, uh, Xi, Xi at the bottom and Omega at the top, which should be coming from this machine. So let's put a uh, Gamma here. So this should insert to the top and uh, bottom, and now they and now they run and now they run. So uh, th the idea of having two catalysts to have four of them running at the same time is not working anymore. But I mean, at least I'm happy that this basic version runs. But it it, it was optimized to have all of them running, and this did work. Um, let's see, let's see, let, let's do that. So we need a uh, zeta and gamma. Zeta here, gamma here, okay, let's do that. Zeta here and gamma here. Okay, they are back to working. They are back to working. Maybe there is some desync. Maybe maybe they, they really have to be working at, at, at the same time. And if one of them is working and not the other one, for example, it, it comes into a, 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 they block each other. They come into, uh, into a bl uh, blocked uh, version. Maybe. I am not quite sure though. And by the way, why the lambdas are here? We, we don't we don't want uh, lambdas. 
Let me put all the lambdas back in, in the chest. We don't want lambdas here. We, 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 we don't want them uh, to be requested, and they should not be requested. Indeed, they're not requested, because we don't have more lambdas than we have uh, fees. We should only request lambdas if we have more uh, lambdas than fees. Uh, now, however, here, what's the, what, what's, the, what's, what's the state? What is the state? Let me check. Let me get one lambda from here. Lambda, lambda. And we have the same uh, blocking situation. Let's uh, let's remove. Uh, these are the catalysts. These are the, the which cannot for some reason uh, it cannot output this catalyst to the top where uh, it normally should be able to be stacked to two. So let's uh, let's remove. Um, how can we make sure they work? Let's move manually this item uh, to the bottom and manually. Um, wait. Okay, fees are outputted. We have uh, Z theta, but here is one omega, and here are th two thetas. We need one more omega, hold on. And for that, we want to be uh, inputting one lambda here, just to, uh, to, 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 to move them into the original situation, right? No, wait, this is not original. How do we make them... Uh, mm, something went wrong here. Let's move one lambda here. So these can work. I want the, both, catalysts, uh, both catalysts to be here. That's so weird. That's so weird. Let, let me reset it. Let me reset it. The, uh, something is, uh, is very weird. Maybe I made a mistake with the catalysts. So what we want here is basically to have two omegas and two thetas. That's all we want. Two, th two thetas here. And two omegas here, and that's the initial, sti initial st state. Maybe what happened is that... Uh, the, the, oh, I think I understand. I mean, kinda. If one inserter works twice, but they shouldn't work twice. Like, uh, all of them, both of them should be taking stuff at the same time. Maybe what we want to do is we want to, to wire and uh, the, them to the chest and say only when there is like two or more items in the chest, they both swing at the same time, which, which should uh, make everything uh, work uh, synchronously. Because the problem is that when meals cannot, um, uh, like if there is a shift, if this one worked twice and this one haven't, uh, that might lead to a case where we have too much items and they're blocking each other. So maybe we need some more control here. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. No, there is. Uh, is there any other uh, other windmill which has items in the middle which are not being able to be processed? No, it's not the case. Okay. Oh, it's the case here. Although it's fine. This is weird. Normally, uh, this should request all of the items which are needed. Why there are so many items here? Let me, uh, I, I want to remove them, but I also, I would like to understand why uh, there are so many items. Th uh, theta, Epsilon, Xi. This transform, Epsilon, uh, uh, Xi, Zeta, plus uh, Epsilon, plus Omega, into their counterparts, right? Let me check the logic here. Uh, zeta plus omegas into zetas, uh, thetas plus gammas into thetas, zetas and thetas, and then we are transforming zeta minus theta. I forgot what we did here. <laughs> I completely forgot. More uh, more zetas than thetas, right? Oh, these these are pairs. Zetas omegas and thetas gammas. We want zetas and omegas get transformed into thetas and. Uh, yeah, zetas and omegas into thetas and gammas. Uh, how, unfortunately, we have catalysts here above, so uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it will work. Let me empty this. Okay, th th there needs to be some improvement uh, in this facility. There needs to be some improvement, and I'm guessing it's the simultaneous swings. Uh, th th this should be all swinging simultaneously when all the items are here, or else it's just uh, it, it leads to, to some abstractions. But uh, th the catalysts here are good, right? The catalysts are good, kind. Do you want a catalyst here as well? Hold on, let me check if we need the catalyst here as well. So once uh, once we have omegas here, uh, imagine we have a zeta and an omega. 
and they go here, they produce uh, gamma and uh, epsilon. Gamma goes inside the chest, epsilon comes here. Now this is fine, they basically uh, rotate their uh, workings. Fixed and inserter activity progress, progress being incorrect for certain orientations. Ah, uh, for, th for certain orientations. Let's see. I, I don't want to cry uh, to cry bug uh, too soon. Uh, it seems we have fixed the issue, and uh, we might need a, a controlled uh, controlled swings. We might need controlled swings. Let's see how it goes. So for now, uh, it's working. It's back to working. Uh, we do not have the balance. Oh, look at this. Lambdas and phi's are uh, complementary. They are balanced towards each other. Xs and epsilons are complementary, balanced towards each other. And now I think, uh, if I remember correctly, these two can be balanced with these two, right? Like the pair balancing. I don't remember how uh, how it worked. Let, let's, have, let's, have, let's have a look. Which pairs work? Work. This pair. This pair is working. And this is the one which takes. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Both of them. Lambdas and phi's. Lambda phi's uh, get transformed into uh, into these, into Xi and into uh, Epsilon. Lambda and phi. Oh yeah, these two pairs into Xi and Epsilon. Okay, these two pairs with these two pairs. And then the final one is 4 to 4. The final one is 4 to 4. It's all of these, it's 4 of these into 4 of these. And I think it's one of these big machines which does that. Oh! <gasps> It cannot do it. It has requests, but it cannot because it's... Oh... We need to limit... Uh, so Because, like, there is one lacking. We need to limit the uh, the inputs. Like, the inputs are equal in sizes, right? But, uh, however, when we are uh, when we uh, reach a, a, a stage where too many of them are requested, uh, the, processing the processing cannot continue. Ah... Makes sense. Okay, let me... But I think that have happened because one of them became too slow. Like we have, we had too much lambdas, and it became too slow. So we need to kind of improve on that. But now these are working. I mean, they're very slow, but we need to make sure. Uh, we need to make sure we ah, uh, basically limit the requests. Just just cap 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 them, top them up. Although they are kind of able to be consumed. It was it was bad luck. <laughs> it was bad luck. Uh, we, not, not that we need to be uh, relying on luck. Not, not that we want to be relying on luck. But normally, if the speed is fast enough, if they get processed fast enough, there shouldn't be any problems. If they're too slow, then we are going to be having problems. We might run into problems again. Uh, case of a uh, uh, bad luck. <laughs> uh, cough, your factory lacking. <laughs> it is. It is lacking. But now uh, it's getting solved. Okay, I'm not seeing uh, the the the, um, uh, the working situation here is when no chests have uh, a lot of arcospheres, and only this one has them, but that's fine. These are being processed as well. As you can see, the numbers uh, go back, back to back to the balance, although very slowly, quite slowly. Uh, epsilons into Xs. I think we need to improve uh, the epsilons into Xs. This one. Epsilons into Xs, and to improve that, we need to add a theta and an omega. Again, uh, improving the speed, a theta and an omega. Let's do that. So theta here and omega here. We have doubled the speed of this one normally. To improve the epsilon processing into Xs. And this one, slowly, slowly but surely, you can see the the demand uh, is getting lower and lower. Before we had like 41. Uh, and now it's getting lower and lower, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm thinking that this is uh, slowly uh, getting towards the uh, the equilibrium. Ah, 17. And we need speed. <laughs> speed models level nine. We need them. But it's okay. Okay, looking good. Let's fix the um, the issue here with the um, with the with the uh, chronite rods, and we should be good. Um, it doesn't really uh, matter the way we do that. We can push the cards. Not really needed, but let's do it like this. I like uh, not having uh, in unnecessary items. Let's do it like this, simply, and just like this. Okay, so we're gonna be having level four catalogs. They are now properly being made, and we can unlock teleportation at some point. Hooray! 
And when we have teleportation, maybe uh, teleportation is gonna enable us, like, uh, two chests are gonna enable us the the, the Naquium flow, the easy Naquium flow. We, can, we are gonna be able to teleport Naquium ores. And we have enough, uh, enough spheres to tax maybe 20 of them. Uh, we kind of have enough, yeah. Okay, uh, looking at th looking at these, they work well. Gammas, uh, which were which were the complements of gammas? I think it was uh, thetas, thetas into gammas. Yeah, they they are getting processed. Do we want to insert a second catalyst into every single machine? Maybe we should do that. This way we shouldn't be running into issues. Xyz also Xyz. Into Where are Xyz? Where are Xyz? Xyz are complementary. No, Xyz are, are complementary with Epsilon, so it's fine. They are kind of balanced. Hmm. Every time you visit the Ball Mall, I like my Arco Factory design more and more. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, uh, it is it is not perfect. Uh, I think we will need to iterate uh, some of these. Sledgehammers are just, sort, are, are just so simple. Uh, that is true. That is true. However, uh, my argument would be that when you have a controlled transformation like this, you can uh, more easily find uh, the problem. Although I, I don't know about your design. Maybe uh, like you know both, so you have the better, you have a better insight. But yeah, like uh, th this design has uh, some edge case issues. One issue is, for example, when you, you don't process fast enough. Uh, and if you don't process fast enough, you can see uh, what, what can happen. But all of these, uh, we, we just need to identify the edge cases and uh, improve the logic to take care of them. For example, in this case, we want the logic to not insert more than uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, let's say uh, 20. No no more than 20 of balls. If we just protect this chest to, to, to like, uh, protect the uh, cap, the, uh, give a maximum of 20 to each ball, the issue we had will never happen, right? We just need to bulletproof this. But actually, uh, definitely doesn't have the same throughput as yours, but doesn't deadlock. Mm. Just need to. We just need protection against deadlocks. Identify them and uh, protect. But right now, look at this. In in uh, in normal in normal scenario, when the speed is fast enough, and uh, bear in mind that we have improved the beacons. Now they are level two, so we have five more modules. Uh, if uh, if the speed is fast enough. Normally, uh, it's a nominal scenario where everything is working. Hey, Sergio Mel, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. We have just fixed uh, the, the balls. We have fixed an uh, the catalog level fours. We have them going, and uh, the one thing we uh, need to do is add a train for magnetic canisters. This is uh, this have never been uh, done yet. Let's do that. We are not collecting the magnetic canisters from the shipyard. This is the factory producing antimatter. Let's go here and... Oh, I think we have two trains, right? Yeah, these two trains are... Oh, no, they are... Uh... Why we have two trains on the same stations as these? Or maybe that's because we have... Uh... I just forgot to rename them. Yeah, let's uh, let's dedicate these two... Uh, the two trains are not configured, but let's dedicate them. Uh, to transport uh, the uh, the magnetic canisters, the basic ones. I'm doing well. I have a uh, vac vacation. And how are you doing? Ah, you're on vacation. Nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, I am. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, it's uh, it's a very busy work right now at work. Uh, busy busy week. We have a new project, so this is why I'm starting streaming a bit late uh, these days. Uh, and ne next day, ne next week is gonna be the like the final uh, week before the deadline, and hopefully, at, uh, by the end of the next week, I should be having uh, more time so we can start streaming a little bit earlier to to, to come back to the usual schedule. But uh, yeah, until then, it's a little bit, a little bit uh, stretched. Magnetic canisters. Okay, so you are gonna be going to the provider chest until full, then you're gonna be coming here, wait for two seconds of an activity, and then uh, output yourself at, at the requester until empty. Output yourself. <laughs> you will... Uh... Okay, now we're delivering magnetic canisters. This is done. Let's uh, have a look at uh, the... 
Mm, we, we need material testing packs. Uh, is it still not online? Are they still not online? Let's have a look at iron. Normally iron have been unlocked. Oh, oh, hold on. That's a very, very, uh, very slow flow. What happened? Lack of iron ore. Oh, we don't have iron ore, guys. We actually, we might need to expand iron on uh, on novice. As much as I want to go for pyramids, <laughs> we might need to expand novice. Um, and we don't have stations production. Um, mm -mm -mm. What to do, what to do. But everything should kind of be back to normal soon, right? Because we had a small... Oh, wait a second. I've just noticed that these are not uh, not running. Oh, now they're running. Now they're back to running. Uh, one of them was blocked. But it, now, now, now it should be fine. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's still do some pyramids, because it's in the title. So, uh, we, shall, we shall see if everything is unlocked uh, before... Uh, after a while, and if not, uh, we can expand then. Let's do some pyramids. I'm really. Uh, I, I want to. I want to solve the mysteries of the of the universe, and I do hope you too. I do hope you too. Now that we have catalogs, we have everything. Let's uh, go to the. Mm. Let's go first of all. Let's have a look at the uh, Nakwim ships. One is is not moving. One is at the. Oh yeah, they're waiting for antimatter. Uh, we kind of... Nah, you know what? We need to expand. Uh, we need to make sure we have antimatter produced. If not, then it's it's never gonna be... We're, we're not gonna be able to do anything. So we need to unlock the factory. That's like the, the, the most important uh, thing to do right now. Um, let's go to Novice and make sure that we have material testing packs. And once this is improved, we can uh, continue with the pyramids. Uh, let's also store some... Uh, ideally, we want these uh, to be... Let's put a uh, drop some of this stuff... Uh, into the spaceship, which we're going to be sending soon, which we're going to be using to go back to uh, for Inestra. And by the way, I have realized something. I have um, I have re not realized, but I kind of wondered. I have a, I have a thought. Like we have discovered, we have discovered uh, one anomaly, right? One anomaly. But uh, what if there are more? I ha uh, I, I had this so uh, this uh, thought. Like what 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 if what if, what if there are more? And I don't truly really remember how we have discovered it, but. I think there was a technology. So this one uh, gets us the, uh, the 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 stars coordinates, the symbol coordinates. We had the f the first one targeted zone discovery, which discovers the the zone which is in, in Formatron. Can we set the zone to anomalies? Oh uh, no, they are just resources. They are just resources. Like for now, let's uh, disable it. And uh, do we have uh, anything else? Deep space zone discovery. I think it was this one, right? It, it discovered asteroid fields and it discovered the anomaly at the same time. I think I remember. Let's let's see if uh, if this can uh, get us anything else or uh, maybe more asteroid fields. Anyway, since we're collecting arcospheres, we might as well. And in the meantime, let's go to a novice and fix the production. We need material testing packs, or else we are going nowhere without the basic stuff. Uh, and for that, let us deposit. Uh, the pipes. You know what? Since we have these chests, we can actually um, we can actually make sure that we have everything in the chests. We can uh, sort uh, the materials we use uh, often. And uh, another thing here, these we need a lot of these, and we don't have uh, we don't have enough. They need naquium plates, and naquium plates are requested. I think. Are they? Telescopes did not find anything new in deep space. Um, does it mean there is nothing more to is, is there no nothing more to discover, or does that mean that uh, th there's like a chance? Let let's run it like two times, uh, two more times, just to be sure. And if they don't discover anything, then it means that we are uh, truly done. And uh, we know we have discovered everything. Deep space ends at research level forty-seven. Ah, okay. So we are indeed done. Okay, thank you for the feedback. Then, then it's okay. No need to waste uh, waste this. We cannot really take these just yet because the the catalogs need to be produced. Let's uh, let's not research anything right now. Although Faustus always says that that research must <laughs> must be going uh, for a reason. I don't really understand, but uh, I'm trusting you. So let's do so let's do some research. At least let's have the rocket traceability. 
being made, being done. At least this one. That's our like standard one. Uh, and let's. Uh, why I, I don't want to do research is because it stacks in the factory too much, and there is nothing like com uh, like very necessary that we need right now, except for the display science four, which is gonna uh, unlock us stuff. So let's uh, let's put stuff uh, in the in uh, the chests, and we can go. By the way, uh, disable logistics. And uh, nothing with pipes. Yeah, this is good. Uh, let's let's unload. Um, hmm. Like we have a lot of stuff here. I have forgotten to pick them, so the the bot uh, the bots have delivered uh, delivered these. But that's fine. Let's uh, store uh, all the space stuff here. We're gonna be uh, working on novice. Store all the space stuff here, and oh yeah, the the super belt. <laughs> and let's go. Let's go to novice. Fixing some production. Uh, want a hint? Uh, yeah, I, tr I trust you with uh, the hints. I trust you to not spoil stuff. So sure. H hints are welcome. Like uh, something I might have not realized or... Uh, uh, like something that, that would not spoil the sense of discovery. Universe Explorer. Universe Explorer. That's all you get. Uh, okay, okay, uh, it means I haven't understood something at Universe Explorer just yet. Mm. So, we have one anomaly. We have spaceships. We have the asteroid fields. Hold on. How many asteroid fields do we have? Do we have 60 asteroid fields? Uh, can we count them? Can we count them? Uh, can you open a research window? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, there is a spaceship victory, by the way. Uh, and I guess... Uh, I mean, I guess... It says it uh, that you need to have a special ship which uh, runs at 250 speed with uh, for 600 seconds to win the game, right? And uh, I don't really want to do this just yet. I don't want to win the game just yet. We haven't solved the the other mystery first uh, uh, before. And this uh, seems similar to having the the nexus with the card. Nexus with the card. Something has been missed somewhere, I don't, but I don't know why. Uh, you mean uh, a research I, uh, I've, I I did, but I've forgotten about? That 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 might very well be, be the case, which is one of the reasons I didn't I don't do researches before uh, it's necessary. Or maybe you are thinking about one research which is blocked behind something. You've done the research require require for what? <laughs> what is the what is the what am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, targets asteroid belts. Is there anything else uh, like hidden behind? We have energy shield. These. This presents four gives us mining productivity and uh, ship expansions and teleportation. And no help. Okay, no help. That's fine. But uh, you said Universe Explorer, and I'm not sure what uh, I need to uh, <laughs> look for in the Universe Explorer. Do we have 60 of these? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty-six. Oh, make, makes sense because uh, one was for an extra and forty-seven uh, technology in total. Okay. Um. Yeah. Never mind. Let's uh, let's go to novice for now. Uh, I might I might be missing something. <laughs> I might be blind once again. Um. But let's fix the production first. There is lore missing, but I don't remember or know why. Uh, the lore missing. Hmm. Um, let's have a second um, I mean, we could have a, a second depot. Like, uh, the, uh, we are liking iron, basically. We are liking, uh, we are liking iron ores a lot. 
Like, the production is, is good, but we are lacking trains to deliver the iron ores. I'm guessing it's not, like, uh, all, all trains not being here means uh, they're all working somewhere, meaning they're, uh, they're needed. Iron ore trains. So, let's add uh, a bunch of these. Um, Uh, I don't want to overwrite it, but that's fine. Or... Hold on. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna open... Uh, I'm gonna open the, um, the lower uh, tab in a second. Or, 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 or. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five or stations. Just add some more trains. Maybe it's gonna uh, improve the production by quite a lot. Hopefully. Hmm... Add five trains. Let's add these. If you think there is like a um, something that uh, I have, uh, for example, for example, if there is something I have skipped, such as uh, such as a research technology, which I have completely forgotten about, and it's it's necessary to continue the progression, you might uh, you, you can let me know about it because uh, if it's for if I forgot about it and it's researched, uh, the, it's uh, the, there are very few chances that I uh, stumble across it again and uh, realize the meaning, me the meaningfulness. Oh, by the way, speaking about researches, uh, we have uh, unlocked the dimensional anchor, which uh, I... Hold on, I have... 60 gigawatts. Wait a second. Stabilizing point for a special anomaly. We have we have learned uh, the last stream that Fuenestra is uh, unstable because when going there, the time to reach the anomaly uh, changes. It's like uh, five minutes, one minute, uh, four minutes, two minutes. It changes nonstop. What if this mach this building? Could bring it, uh, like stabilize it, meaning it could uh, bring it closer to the sun, and we, in that case, we could be able to, to send energy, to this uh, anomaly. What if it's something like this? Because right now, a stabilizing point for a special anomaly, we have only one special anomaly, which is unstable. So it does make sense. Uh, I don't know what stabiliz stabilization means, but it sounds interesting. It sounds like something we, uh, we would need, right? So, uh, should we try to stabilize Fuenestra? And by the way, I'm remembering that we have an anchor symbol on Fuenestra. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, this is yeah, this is just me talking, uh, <laughs> trying to explain what uh, what I'm thinking about. There is an anchor symbol here. There's an anchor symbol here. So, man, I'm excited to to write, to know what it is, what it means. What does it mean to stabilize the anomaly? I think we need to make it. Uh, also, should we placement restriction close star orbit? Oh, so we don't even need to, to to put it on on the anomaly itself. We don't need to put it on the anomaly. We just need to to put it on the star. And we have we have easily sixty gigawatts on the star at the star. So okay, let's let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let, let's try building. Uh, trying uh, trying to build it. And uh, basically, I was thinking about technologies I might have forgotten, and this one came to mind. But now, after uh, having played with uh, with the space anomaly with Fuenestra uh, last stream, I, I I have better better understanding of what it means. I mean, not better understanding, but I feel like uh, I feel like it should be something useful. I mean, it it has to be. It can be useless first of all, and second, uh, I understand the meaning meaning the meaning behind stabil stabilization of the anomaly. It is for for an asteroid. It it makes it will uh, it will make it good. <laughs> so let, let's do that first and let's see how it goes. Have no idea why, but why we would need it. Uh, by the way, uh, the trains are not very happy here. It's not like they are blocked. They are just uh, a little bit unhappy. Why are you standing in the middle of nowhere? I think we might be lacking. Oh, oh! There is no signal here. There is no ch chain signal. Uh, there is no. S uh, okay, let me fix some issues here. 
Um, here we want a uh, one of these. We want one of these uh, for the exit. We want one of these here. Oh, this is also an exit, right? Both of them are exits. Yep. Okay, so now th now this should make it better. And even here. And let's add uh, five more trains. One, two, three, four, five. And these are uh, basically iron trains. Um, let me copy from the first one which comes here. Good. Yep, and... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's put it to uh, two seconds of inactivity. You're at the depot right now. Oh! No, this one, uh, this one are all depots. And they're waiting for a supply. So they need to, f uh, they cannot find a mine. They cannot find a an iron mine. Unfortunately. By the way, we're not core mining iron just yet. Um, let's do some quick expansions uh, of iron. Let's do some quick expansions, yeah. We need them. What about pyramids? And we need we need to go to the pyramids as well. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think should be the order of operations? Because, by the way, so... We have... Let me show you. We have 60 pyramids to explore. We have 60 pyramids to explore. Uh, we want to be exploring while the factory is running. We want to be exploring so that uh, we're spending the time exploring while we are... We are uh, Approaching in on uh, on the goals, which are like science production and stuff and right now the production is kind of stopped, right? So uh, right now the, the current priority would be increasing the production and after it's done We'll go to the pyramids, okay? But but I, I'd like to build an anchor first again <laughs> have this uh... Let me quickly place down uh, one or two mines one or two mines. I think uh, I think we should be having uh, like iron. Yeah, we have a patch. Let, let, let's cover this patch uh, of copper and this patch of iron, or this patch of copper, and that's it. The only uh, the only improvement we are gonna do now on novice, because we need the resources. And after it's done, uh, let's go to the mall quickly, pick some rails and and miners. And that's it. Everything else we do have. We even have a bunch of uh, white area beacons. So th this should take uh, maybe 20 minutes. Or maybe more miners. Let's go. Expand these. Uh, they are uh, right there. Uh, should we uh, already mold the anchor production? We can't really mold it. I mean, we don't, we don't need to mold it, we, we, we need, just need to make it once. Uh, it takes 30 seconds. What we can do is uh, make, uh, like, prepare the drop-off resources. And then we just bring the Quintessaract and uh, catalog and it's gonna be good. But it shouldn't take too long. It's, yeah, like, the catalogs are even level 3, it's not like, it's, not like it's, it's level 4. We could have done that uh, even before uh, before reaching level four. Interestingly, hold on, uh, going too far. Oh, we have a lot of mines here. We have uh, these and we have these. Oh my god, that's so many mines. Oh, we might have uh, we might need the landfill here. No, luckily there is no like uh, mar <laughs> there is no swamps here. Okay, good. Let's just this. Let's get some stations. These are copper stations. Uh, let's have two copper and two iron. Something like this. You can open... Can you open research window again? Yep. Give me a second. Place these two and... Uh, yes, we can do that. Two copper and two iron. Okay, research. Uh, do you want to look at the future ones or the currently researched ones? This is the one uh, I'd like to do <laughs> once we have level 4. 
You're looking at the wrong research. Uh, so, by elimination, which are the interesting ones? Uh, from safety, no. Zone discovery, maybe we haven't done much of these. But these are like... Uh, ask again uh, if you want a hint. <laughs> um, by elimination, which ones are uh, needed? We can finish the pers uh, personal upgrades again. Uh, I'm wor uh, I I'm wondering right now, <laughs> based on your, uh, uh, based on your um, uh, conversation, where uh, whether some of them unlock uh, another researches, whether some of them like unlock. Let's let's do all the uh, bio upgrades. Uh, which uh, which researches could unlock? Maybe there are like hidden researches which are unlocked by making other researches, which I'm getting hinted at. <laughs> Maybe. Um, after having these, uh, follow robot count. This is infinite, I guess. Yeah, this one is infinite indeed. I mean, it's only infinite uh, starting this one. So we could do that. And let's see. Everything else is like uh, yeah, more more power, more fire, uh, rocket survivability, reusability, discovery, cargo safety. These are infinite. Then we have uh, mining productivity, which is very expensive and, and infinite as well. It needs DSS4. Uh, we have shields. Um, we could do them, like well, it's just, but it's uh, throwing out materials at, at, at this point. We need uh, science for uh, more important stuff. We have uh, the spaceship. Uh, we have the uh, range mapping, and we have the victor victory and uh, unlocks the victory condition, and it unlocks distortion drive. I guess I guess that's the research. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's do the bio upgrades. Mm. Let's have these uh, mines set and running. So you go out here. No wait. You need to be the entry. Entry. Uh, the exit. So you uh, go back uh, there. And you are in. Here, having these placed already, these cuts here, there, and here. Okay, good. And uh, finally, uh, let's place some miners. Um, had some landfill. Um, yeah, let's use the this one. So this is copper. It's uh, should be super easy to place uh, to place the miners, and it's done. And let's place uh, level. Uh, yeah, we don't need level eight. We don't need level eight. Ah, uh, level eight. Last level beacons. Uh, this. This, uh, I'd like to not waste beacons, so let's put it like this. Yeah, one tile below. Okay, and from here, uh, there are. Let's do it like this. Uh, there are how many? Nine. I think it's okay. Nine, ten, and eight. Uh, for in the case of ten, we want to be cutting them. And a case of nine, let's cut them as well. Yeah, this way we're gonna be having more, more copper. And in this case, we have how many? We have uh, eight. Uh, like we need six. We need six to for one belt. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Oh. Forgot uh, the models here, and this should be uh, should be giving us a good amount of uh, copper. So how many balls do we have? Three and three. Perfect. 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 Let's remove these, and just like that, we have colonized the mine. Hey, Quatch! Welcome back. Welcome back. Quickly expanding some iron and copper, and then uh, we should be uh, going back to the interesting stuff. I know it's in the title, but uh, <laughs> problems like factory uh, should be running. That's like a priority. 
as much uh, as I want to do interesting stuff. If the factory is not running, we are going to be running into like uh, problems. Once we want to produce stuff, right? So uh, up. Oh, um, that's fine. Let's just put these here. These. <laughs> Do it like that. Pure could be paste. And uh, like that. Okay. Get the power. And uh, the speed models inside the beacons. Finally, let's get iron. This is uh, iron supply. It's been a while since we haven't increased the production of iron. 15 trains with this uh, with this station. Let's do the same. However, I'd like them to go to the left. I mean, it's it's easy to make them go to the left. By the way, Quatch, look at this. Uh, this is the new mod. It places down the miners automatically. <laughs> I like it. Makes everything a little bit uh, easier. Um, and let's do it. So basically what we want to do is uh, to go to the left side. I went with one of these two. Ah. Uh, oh. I mean, it's fine. We don't need to land fuel. Go to the left. And to the left. Uh, bio upgrades incoming. Wait, wait, hold on. You are, yeah, you are needed. Kinda. Uh, so these these ones are gonna be um, filled pretty fast, but that's fine. So we have how many belts? Uh, we need to cut these. Sixteen. Uh, let's have yeah. Let's have eight and eight. Eight and eight is good enough. Uh, let's have these. These three, it's fine, and then these uh, eight here as well, which is good as well, uh, good uh, too. But we need four on each side, so let's do it like this: four on the top and four uh, on the, from the bottom. And then uh, you know what? These could actually uh, be combined into a single one, like that, because these are gonna be. Uh, done uh, very shortly. Ah, it's fine. No need to optimize uh, belts or anything. Okay, let, let's just get the belts out. And we are gonna be good. That's all. I, I don't want to have any more mines. This should uh, last us for a while. What we, what we uh, actually... Uh, I, 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 maybe it's um, it's w worth more the time uh, to uh, it's it's worth more to spend time on core mining because core mining is uh, forever, where this is uh, temporary. Let's do it like that. These are yeah, iron supplies. Because mm. we have uh, we have a core mining set up already for iron. We just we, uh, we we don't core mine it just yet. Maybe this would be a best better investment of the effort. Yeah, let's have to here. The advantage of placing mines like this uh, is that uh, the, the miners being sparse, they're gonna take more time to empty the mine. But uh, that means that if we have mo more mines like this, we're gonna be uh, they're gonna be lasting for longer. No need to uh, to have miners super compact. Okay, and finally beacons. One here. Uh, perfect. One here. And oh, you are uh, not exactly well placed. You know what? I'm gonna do something like this here, just to cover everything with one beacon. Ah, hold on. Something like this. Uh, is everything here covered? Ah, uh, it's not. Um, what we 
Again, we can move. Uh, ah, you know what? Fine. Okay, so this is uh, covering everything. It's covering everything here, and this one's covering everything here, and this one's covering the bottom. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. And the super pylons. Okay. Mining operations online. And uh, there are these two, but let's not uh, spend too much time. After all, it's written pyramids in the title. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, so Bio did not unlock new technologies, <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about uh, what you were uh, talking about fastest, but... We can do more of these. Hmm. All you gotta do is ask. Well, is it a spoiler? Like, is it something I meant to discover by uh, by myself, or is it uh, just pointing out something that I might be overlooking? Which uh, basically, basically, if it's a case of blindness, you can cure it. <laughs> but if it's something I meant to like discover, and if it's uh, if it's like a, if it's a puzzle, for example. To, to realize that or to, to discover it, then uh, might be a spoiler. See what I mean? Let's go back to uh, to the orbit and uh, construct the anchor. I I'm really excited to, to, to see uh, to see what it does. Uh, how does it stabilize the anomaly? What exactly is it doing? It is not necessary a puzzle for you to discover. That doesn't help me. <laughs> uh, you, okay, uh, let, let, let me uh, say that. You are the judge. You, 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 because I, I'm, I don't know what uh, what is it about. You should judge whether it's something I... Uh, it's fine for uh, for me to learn from you. It's an assumption of playstyle, but the mod creator... Assumption of playstyle by, by the mod creator? Play style uh, related with technologies. Uh, someone who researches all the technologies will get uh, will get bonuses. <laughs> uh, it's hard to it's, it's hard to guess. Research zone discovery more. Uh, so this one, okay, uh, this one does not do anything. We are at level 50, you said it was level 47. Okay, we can uh, eliminate that one. Targeted zone discovery. Triggers resource targeted zone discoveries when researched. So that could be interesting when we need one of these resources. However, uh, we don't really need anyone in particular. But the basic zone discoveries, we didn't make a lot of. We have only eight. So um, we can do a bunch of these to discover all the planets. Maybe that's good. However, it's gonna be a pain to, to, to do that without like a mod which auto auto cues them. Uh, moon, planet, planet, moon, asteroid belt, yeah. It is gonna be a pain. <laughs> Prepare your ears! Asteroid belt, moon, planet, moon. We'll never finish rocket reusability. At some point, at some point. It's it's very close to the to being done, by the way. So yeah. Uh, let, let's let's build the. I think it's good to discover a lot of planets. That's that, that is true, because uh, we will need to go to the pyramids at these planets, right? So we might as well uh, like be discovering them. Um, let's go to. Yeah, and you know what? I actually actually it's it's a good idea to map out the universe. It's a good idea to completely map out the universe and the suns and everything. Moon, Moon, Planet, Asteroid Belt. I'm, I'm checking quickly if there is, like, something special, but... Uh, let's go to the mall and set up the uh, Dimensional Stabilizer. I really want to know what this is, and it's super easy to, to produce and to uh, to construct. So we can do just that. Dimensional Stabilizer. This, uh, this building. It's gonna stabilize the anomaly. <laughs> I know it's unstable, but I have no idea what it's gonna become once it's stable. I'm hoping for a better uh, beaming from the from the, from the sun. That's my hope. I hope it's gonna allow us to beam energy more easily because having hundreds of antimatter reactors is just uh, unwieldy. 
Uh, asteroid, moon, moon, planet, planet, moon. Yeah, that's fine. Let's have one of these. Uh, it can be anywhere. Uh, I, I, I don't want it to be inside the beacon. The research, the research needs a loop button. Yeah, definitely. It needs a loop button. Let's place it here. We need to do it once, after all. Place the chest in, uh, outside of the zone, because I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to uh, make sure that we don't request all that. So, 500, 100, 100, 8, 8, 4. Exactly uh, what we need. Let's do it. Let's request the items. And then, after they are inserted... Uh, so, we need to, to grab uh, three of the catalogs here. Let's go and grab them. I literally logged into one of my old saves that didn't do that research and went through hundreds of them, hundred plus of them. <laughs> you did the same! So I, I I am meant to discover something. Actually, yeah, that's... Uh, that is... Uh, I don't know why I didn't scan for planets more. Like, we had level 8 technology, only level 8. And uh, it, it's a good thing to, to discover stuff. It's a good thing. I, I haven't realized that. So maybe, maybe, uh, that, 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 that was a good hint. That's not a spoiler whatsoever. It's like do do more or uh, do more discoveries. That's uh, that's like something I, I forgot to do. Uh, orb ship. Oh, you're right. Arcosphere. The sphere zone needs to be. Um, so or, or uh, ideally, originally I uh, meant to kind of pause this, but I think we we still uh, we are still good to. We still should do them. We still should do them. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the the Universe Explorer. Oh, and that was your hint, right? With Universe Explorer, explore. God damn it! <laughs> okay, now I'm getting it. <clears throat> Don't know why you would do that. That tech so much. Um, well, first of all, we will need to. Uh, to go to all of these uh, planets and uh, get the image inside the pyramid, uh, because combining all the information we get from these uh, will lead us to the puzzle solution, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's like my initial thought. And we don't even, we might even, uh, we might not know where these planets are without doing this research first. And uh, at some point, the same way as uh, with this technology, uh, this one uh, finished after mapping out all of the asteroid fields and space zones. Uh, this one also will finish at some point after mapping out all of the all of the star systems with their planets. And it's actually helpful in the future if you want to expand for core mining and everything. It's just good to have a mapping of the of the universe, right? This is why uh, you have no incentive to leave the solar system except for Naquim. So many people skip zone discovery. Yeah, after all, it's space exploration, right? You are meant you are meant to discover interesting stuff. I uh, I completely forgot to do that technology, and that's uh, that's a very good point. Uh, yeah, or uh, so orb ship. Where do we want to go? We have been to a Razor Field. We, yeah, we have collected uh, stuff from Razor Field. This one, yes. This one, yes. Uh, but not Dark Flare. Let's go to Dark Flare. Uh, so Moon Moon. Uh, hold on, let me quickly check. Uh, so planet. Uh, sorry, about Moon Moon planet. Moon Moon planet. Okay. Uh, for uh, until now, it has just been uh, moons and planets and. Uh, would be more convenient if you didn't unlock one moon or planet per research, but a whole system for higher costs. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, like have a higher higher cost research and just scan the whole solar system. Could be could be a good shortcut, convenient shortcut. Uh, so uh, what was the name of the planet? Something like set the limit data instead, where you will eventually do a lot of it anyway. Yeah. I put suggestion on the CD score for a new item, James Webb Space Telescope. <laughs> DSS take that can scan an entire solar system at once. That's cool. Also, good idea to shorten the studiousness uh, of putting tons of research. Yeah, ex ex uh, especially considering the fact that uh, Vanilla Factor does not accept uh, like queuing infinitely and infinite technology. Um, what was the name again? Dark Flare. Okay, let's send the ship to Dark Flare. Orb ship. This one. You are... Uh, I think you're ready. Let's check quickly whether I made a request to a personal... No, it's fine. So. Dark Flare. Off you go. 
And also, I'll make sure that... Let's, actually, let's enable everything. Pri of priority one. Let's make sure that um, we... Uh, that we... Uh, where is it? Big Brother Uber 1. That it's... Uh, this not, is not enabled. Yeah, this is off. Because this messes with the... <laughs> With the alert, with the alarm. Um, and yeah, we need to grab a level 3 catalogs for the building. Planet moon, planet moon, okay. F uh, level 3 catalogs for the buildings. Uh, the, uh, how many do we need? We need uh, four. Let's grab four of them. Oh, look at how many we have! This is where our Naquitite has been going into, guys. This is the Naquitite, uh, Naquitite Hungry Factory. Four of these. And, by the way, why, why it's not being produced? I'm gonna guess Nakutite. Or uh, Arcospheres. Arcospheres... Uh... <laughs> well, yes indeed. Yes indeed. Arcospheres are... Um... We need to bulletproof this solution against... Man, this again? Why is it only this one? Why is it only this one? Not others, but only this one. Lambda is okay. Only this one has the issue. Arco deadlock. It's 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 a deadlock due to like it's it's a very hold on. Oh, it's like in lambdas, right? It's like in lambdas. Oh, it, okay. It's like in lambdas, but it cannot uh, it cannot transform. Uh, first of all, like the, the, the sole reason of this uh, issue would be. The sole reason would be the fact that this, this factory, this is the one which is always uh, not properly working. <laughs> this is the culprit. Is it is it wrong? For some reason, these intruders don't don't want to, to take stuff. Waiting for space, waiting for source. This one is waiting for source items, right? It says waiting for source items on the right. This one has source items. It has these uh, Xi. And this... Oh no, this Xi, okay, this Xi doesn't want to. So this one is waiting for space and destination. Okay, so this one cannot output this Xi into this one, but I have already seen these spheres going up to two. They can go up to two, so why why cannot you add this one to this one to make it go to two, like this? Why can't you do this? Hmm, but it's, uh, it's still not enough, because th this Gamma... Needs to go here. And now it's a windmill. <laughs> and it's a, it's a deadlocked windmill. Um, I feel like they, they don't like... Uh, by the way... Yeah. I feel like they don't really like... Can you put a limiter on how many it can request at once? Uh, we can put a limiter on that. But uh, it, it's important here. It's important in this uh, in this uh, in this case, where it, it needs all the items, but it may it might overload the chest. But this one is lambdas, so here the limiter would not uh, solve the issue. But it could. Uh, we, we, we what we can do is we can wire these hands with this with this chest and only say activate once there are two or more items inside the chest. So we are making sure that uh, not only these are working synchronously. Because the problem might come when there is like only one item, and then it's taken twice by the same, which which should not happen. But it's an assumption. It's an assumption. So let's do that. Let's try that. And uh, if, if after this improvement it's uh, deadlocked again, then uh, then we shall uh, look into uh, into uh, additional stuff. Okay. So here, these ones uh, basically read the contents, and they should only be enabled when. Everything is above uh, when anything is above or equal to two. But before that, let, 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 let's have them de deactivated, and uh, so that we can fix this. Now we, we want them to be active. Okay, let me rotate them. Uh, uh, not rotate. Uh, okay have these. So basically I don't want them to input items, but I still want them to be properly set. So they, they swing at once. Only enabled when uh, everything is uh, above or equal to two inside the chest, and that's it. Only then 
both of them are gonna swing once and at the same time so let's uh, let's fix this so these have uh, the problem are the catalysts here let's get everything okay so fees are uh, fees are here and fees are he oh I think I understand I think I understand I think I understand uh, if there is an item in the output these are not red anymore ah that's how it works I have never realized but um, once uh, if there is an item at the, in the at the destination these are uh, not able to accept any input let's have a look this one has Omega right and it, it should take um, one of these phi or gamma from this one let's put a gamma here Let's put a gamma here, and it should not be able to. Yeah, this inserter. See, this inserter does not. Uh, it doesn't want to output this gamma into this machine because this one has an output, which makes this circular uh, setup not work sometimes. Both machines must not have uh, outputs. But uh, it is working if uh, these properly insert their items non-stop. At, at the same time, because the processing, uh, when these are emptied, uh, these are uh, start working. Something like this, right? So uh, let's try, let's try that. So get you out, get you out. We have nothing is, is there. So let's get uh, the two fees inside here. And we want two gammas and two zetas. Do we have two zetas and two gammas? No, we don't. We have only one. Let's get, uh, we have nothing here. Let's get one zeta and one gamma. So, two catalysts into each. Two zetas and two uh, gammas. Okay. And now what we want to do, we want to move these machines um, at the same time. Kinda. Wait, these are not enabled. Hold on. Enable when uh, anything is uh, above or equal to, and uh, oh, it is it is set request. It is set request. Uh, this chest should can only be either read contents or set request. We cannot read the, re read the contents at the same time as um, having a set request. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! That is uh, disappointing. Can you put a limiter on? Yeah. That is disappointing. It cannot read the contents at the same time as it sets the request. Which is, uh, set request dynamically is the whole, um, is the whole, is what makes it work. But normally, um, like, as long as there are items here, everything is working. And that is because uh, they, they swing all at once. Yeah, look at this. Look at them swinging at once. So the machines are able to have the, uh, the output evacuated a as soon as possible, basically. Uh, we, are, we are able to evacuate stuff as soon as possible. Which makes it so they never uh, have the situation where they have output and... Uh, and these have output because everything is taken out ASAP. The problem comes in when uh, fees, for example, there is only one fee in the chest, like the robot has just brought one fee. So one inserter has taken it. And then uh, then another robot brought the other one, and the, and the, same, uh, the same inserter has taken it. This is where it becomes an issue. Like when, when, when there is a waiting situation. Not even the same, it could be the other one, but with a delay, which makes this one have uh, an output. And this one might have an output as well. Meaning, basically, that uh, the, the idea of having two catalysts to speed up the process might uh, not be the best one. We might not be wanting to have two catalysts uh, per, uh, per windmill. If we have only one catalyst, it works, but it's slower. But at least it doesn't deadlock. Can you control the requester based on the uh, request somehow? On the request, it's... Uh, mm, 
Not really. Not really. We, we, uh, because, we, we, for example, the request, imagine it's zero, then it becomes one, and then it becomes two. But it's still, uh, we, we cannot say okay because it's two, because the items might not be in the chest yet. Both items might not be in the chest yet. Mm. What we can do is have a requester chest be next to the normal chest where we're going to be inputting items. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can have a, a requester chest uh, like nearby, which uh, is going to be the one uh, having the items received, and have a hand outputting stuff from this chest inside the main one, inside the central one. And this could, uh, this could uh, have us... Uh, this could solve the issue. So instead of... This chest is gonna be the set request. And this one is gonna be a, a normal chest. And the red wire here is going to go from... Uh, where, where does it go? This one, right? Instead of going here, it's gonna go here. And now, this chest is a basic one. Uh, the hands can be reading from it. The setup is enabled when there are two, more than two items in the chest. And there is going to be a hand outputting from here inside the chest. Just like this. And this... This is going to make these hands work in tandem. Fixed. <laughs> fixed. I'm going to say it's fixed. Uh, I'm going to say it's fixed. Um, don't do the same on others. Let's only do the same on uh, the on the ones where we have the double catalyst set up. Re uh, set request and uh, the basic hand input in here and connect the wire. Uh, enabled when I don't want to copy paste because it's another feature, but anything above or equal to two. Maybe it's easier to copy paste and uh, like that. Okay. <laughs> Fixed uh, with a lot of asterisks, asterisks nearby. First asterisk is uh, hopefully. Second asterisk is until next deadlock. Third asterisk is uh, until uh, a second deadlock. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I'm, when I say fixed, I'm saying temporarily fixed. Let's see how it goes and. Uh, we might need to come back. <laughs> it's never truly fixed. It's the same as the... Um, what's the word? Oh, what was it? The cover X. Same as cover X. It's always fixed. And we need to fix it even more uh, from time to time, right? Let's have a look at the balancing. Oh, so how, do, how does it go here? Okay, this one is good. This one is good. And do we need to do the same? Unless we have all four of them do nothing. But that is weird. Like, the requests are always... Uh, they, they always... Are they always equal? Oh, so when when uh, first robots took two items, the network state changes. Which is where, which is where we want to be able to control stuff without reading the the network. We want we want to to, to not rely on the network state because of these this small limitation where we have no idea what robots are carrying. And we also have no idea of what's inside requester chests. So uh, I feel like I feel like this factory could be improved. I, I feel like it. it uh, but this is uh, this is for next time. How is it going here, by the way? Um, hmm. Like, yeah, here here as well. Here as well. Some items are sitting. Some items are sitting inside, which aren't being used. Uh, they are going to be used at some point, but for now they are not used. So let's put them back. So yeah, basically, the conclusion is that reading the network, the robot network, uh, and to decide uh, decide the distribution, is not the best thing to do. Uh, fix would be a solid mode. Feature me problem, exactly. <laughs> oh boy, balancer problem. Hey, Kano. Um, kinda. Yes and no. Uh, not exactly balancer problem. The balancers are working. The problem is the desync. Like this windmills, I have discovered that if two of the with the setup where both of them are draw from each other, if uh, both of them have items in the destination, they cannot be working. Which is a very specific case to this uh, windmill setup. 
and also very specific to uh, the machines because they have recipes with very low numbers, one to one, so we can only go up to two items anyways. But uh, yeah, learning every day. Framing this uh, site and hang, hang it next to the it works and it's done sites. <laughs> yeah. But now it's working. By the way, thetas are not emptied fast enough. So let's do the same improvement. Let's let's do the same improvement. Oh, uh, you know what? Copy ev uh, copy everything. And these are thetas basically. Uh, that does. Oh, 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 no, to save. Come on, you're messing up. I want them to be able to output at the same time. Okay, good. Two and two. And uh, the chest here needs to be wired like that. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, thetas have been, and that 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 actually allows us to track which ones have uh, been uh, improved to have two catalysts. Want to check out my solution uh, now that spoilers are allowed? Oh, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do uh, let's uh, let's check out stuff. Let's check out your solutions, guys. Uh, we, we we were meant to have a, a stream uh, like looking at the solutions after uh, the DSS four is done, which is the case. So, uh, yeah, l l let's check out your solutions. Let's check out your solutions. Although we only have 30 minutes uh, left today. I, I was a bit late. I was a bit late. But tomorrow we can have a lot of time. Tomorrow I'm going to be uh, live earlier. So we can do that. But uh, since Kano, you posted yours already, let's let's start with uh, Kano's solution. And uh, let's let's uh, proceed. To, guys, prepare. If you want to showcase your solutions, prepare the the blueprints uh, like factory beans for tomorrow. And we are going to go through them and check them out. But let's check uh, Kano's one uh, today. Since Kano is here. And uh, we have some time. L let's do that tomorrow, yeah. So, yours is uh, copy. Let's see. Import blue string. Uh, that's uh, that's very compact. <laughs> that is very compact. Let's see if I can make sense of it. Let me grab some uh, some land fuel. I'd like to see uh, the fastest one. <laughs> As well. And Revan's one. And everyone's. Um, let's not put it inside the network. Mine is not so pretty. Mm. Wait. Did I... Uh... Let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, am I going to be able to make sense of it? Oh, oh, wait, I thought they were outside of the... Oh, it got connected because of the robot port, because of the robot port. Um, hold on. Um, oh yeah, we need the uh, combinators. It's fine, we can just remove the... The items. Wait, is, is, is a report necessary? Hold on. You know what? Yeah, easier uh, easier thing would be to uh, remove it and place it uh, somewhere where the report is not impacting it. Um, I'm surprised. Oh, we have them here. I'm surprised uh, the spheres were not inserted inside the inside them. Um, let's move even further. Even further. Uh, can we remove this one completely, entirely? Now let's just move further down. More landfill. We don't have landfill. Quick trip to the, to the mall. Since we're already doing Arcospheres anyways. <laughs> Might as well do that. Now. And one more. By the way, I've dropped, uh, I've dropped all the stuff uh, regarding... Like, all the... <laughs> 
um, all the space stuff at the spaceship. All the space stuff. So uh, I'm gonna guess uh, just by judging the the small uh, looking at the small amount of uh, buildings. I'm gonna guess you also went for a brute force approach. I'm really curious to see how you handled the priorities. I'm very curious to see that. To see that. Um, we need to add more uh, combinators. Uh, we have some. I think we have everything. Is anything yellow? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get the power so nothing is blinking. Okay, uh, first solution, uh, kind of solution. So, Roboport is reading logistic network contents, okay? And uh, it gets the sum of uh, lambdas, xis, epsilons, and phis into A. Lambdas, gis, epsilon, and phis into A, and zeta, theta, gamma, and omegas into B. And are these lambda, gis? Ah, yeah, you went with... Uh, okay, and I'm gonna bet these are going inside the the 4 to 4 ones, right? Because lambda, gis, epsilons, and phis are uh, the quarter complements. And zeta, theta, gamma, and omegas. Okay, and they go... They go inside these, which indeed process... Uh, do the 4 to 4s. These do the 4 to 4s. But uh, A is the sum of firsts and uh, B is the sum of second ones. And here, uh, these ones enabled when A is less than B, makes sense. When uh, you have more of these than these, then uh, you want to... How do you request them? Oh, you always... Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Quest from offer chests. This is a. This is a. Uh, okay, you always want to have these items here, and uh, all, uh, all all of the items you want five of every single one of these inside of these chests, and uh, balance them like that. And these are uh, stored in in storage chests. Uh huh. So storage chests basically uh, they can uh, items can be anywhere, right? They're stored uh, until uh, until they're they're needed. Okay. And what about these? Um, oh, these are the two initial ones. You drop your uh, your basic ones here. Okay, so the top part uh, is pretty straightforward. I do get it. However, what I do not get is... Oh, it's... Um, okay, this is the... Um, this is how much more you want them to have. When you have more than... Uh, more than... When, when a plus 10 is uh, less or equal than b here right uh, hold on oh the meteor hit the other sun's orbit okay so when when the difference becomes 10 or more when the difference becomes 10 or more then you want them to be balanced i use storage chests because they're prioritized over passive providers the robots always prefer to take th spheres from the storage chests oh i see so the passive providers are your uh, your initial but yeah that makes sense these are going to be prioritized so uh, you're going with the hard uh, with the with the hard coded when there is more than ten of the sum, then do it. It's a bit different from my approach. I uh, I I look at the. Actually, it's not that different. Okay, uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Now uh, the bottom part is the um, the mixers the, the the two to two mixers. So here B is three. And uh, let's see here. B is connected to every single one uh, inserter, which inserts. And I'm guessing this is again is going to be the difference. If there is three uh, more, th more, uh, three more than what you need. Let's see. This one is enabled when A is uh, above uh, B. So uh, omega plus lambdas. Which are coming. Uh, so when you have uh, omegas, uh, when you have the sum of omegas plus lambdas, which is above uh, x and thetas, which is uh, same as me, right? Uh, hold on, which one was which one was it? Xs plus thetas as opposed to omegas and lambdas. Xs and thetas as opposed to 
Omegas and Lambdas. Xyz and Thetas. This is not the pair uh, the pair I came up with. In my case, the pairs were different. By the way, there is an issue with fees. Hold on, let, let me fix this. <laughs> let me quickly fix this. Uh, <laughs> Same! Oh my god. This one is the... <laughs> Why is that happening? Why is that happening? Like it works, it works, it works, and then uh, suddenly it stops working. Hi, DSS4. Hey, yeah, DSS4 is done. DSS4 is done. I mean, it's done. It's uh, it's unable to to be researched because of uh, because of issues, but <laughs> but it is done. It is done. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, what we need to do here is to remove uh, these completely, just to have fees and fees, fees and fees, and we need to do two, two zetas and two gammas. Let, let, let's uh, maybe one of which, uh, maybe one of which is uh, is is safe. Uh, why did I uh, use them here? Two zetas and two gammas. Yeah, I think one of which is a bit more uh, safe. But I like to understand why they work, they work, they work, and suddenly they, they stop working. Like, they, uh, they work for, for a long time, and suddenly they stop working. Which I cannot understand. Uh... Let's see. Got to go by. Hey, got to go. Thank you for uh, passing by. Unfortunately, yeah, we weren't unable to do pyramids. <laughs> Title is a lie, but uh, hey, that's Factorio for you. There are always some stuff to do. All my pair pairs are just determined by the conversion recipes. I don't know what you calculated. <laughs> the way you say it. <laughs> I have no idea what you did there on the spreadsheet. And it works without. <laughs> you waste your time, boy. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, okay, I, I get it. Uh, epsilons, omegas, as opposed to... Oh, no, no, it, it's this one. Gammas, lambdas, as opposed to xz's uh, and epsilons. Okay, okay, I get it. So whenever you just look at the 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 output, so whenever you have more of these than these, you pass them in, right? When you have uh, uh, three difference between uh, these two and these two, you pass them. And that's it. For uh, You do this for every single one of them, right? So this one is the bottom, this one is the top. And they look symmetrical, so I'm guessing that's uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, that looks uh, that looks simple to be honest. <laughs> Just looking at the ones you have too much of, and uh, you get co you combine them, you combine them. Uh, how does the priority work? What if they get combined and you never have deadlocks? You never reach a state where uh, it's like deadlocked. You understand correctly. Like for example, if uh, if you have too much gam uh, ome uh, gam uh, omegas, for example, and they are needed here, uh, and then you're gonna be looking at lambdas. For example, omegas are needed here, here, and here. But you're gonna be looking at xz's, phi's, and uh, lambdas. Hmm. So they do sort themselves out, right? Just look at the pairs. Huh, interesting. Okay, uh, okay. Looking good. Look, looking straightforward, yeah, looking straightforward. <laughs> I might have overcomplicated everything. But hey, at least I know exactly the, um, the transformations. And you know what? Let me, uh, let me keep a small book with your solutions. So this one is Kano. And yeah, uh, guys, tomorrow let's, uh, let's have... Um, let's have some comparison of the balancers. Tomorrow or next week, if you are not able to make it tomorrow, it's fine. Uh, from now on, you can uh, come to stream, and if you want to share your uh, your uh, your balancing blueprint, we're gonna be looking at it. Just uh, today, we I have only twenty minutes left, so let me um, let me uh, try to finish uh, what we what we uh, wanted to do. 
with the dimensional anchor. I'd really uh, I'd like to know what this anchor is and what it does. But, uh, let, 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 let's end on, a, on on something new. I tested it by eliminating one sphere completely and it never jammed. Okay, I guess then, yeah, brute force, uh, in, like, it's it's kind of a control brute force, like, you're, you're looking at pairs every time. I see. But uh, have you tested with having, like, for example, a lot of spheres, like 100 of each? Because uh, the chests, uh, the, the, the storage chests get full, and then they, they cannot output, right? If the storage chests are full. I guess you are not really reaching this, uh, this stage. Okay, let's see here. So, uh, you know what? We can just grab everything and just do Shift-C. Dimensional Anchor, let's go! Let's put it uh, at the star. Let's put it at the star and let's see how it goes. Um, we can go... We can we can use the ship to go to the star or we can warp there. Uh, warp... <laughs> we can use the rocket to warp, uh, to warp at the star. Let's use the rocket, yeah. This one goes to the Sun Station construction site and I think at the Sun Station we uh, have a rocket to bring us back. Oh yeah, that's uh, exactly... Wait, wh why is it delayed? Oh, P is personal. P is... Uh, or is P construction? Oh no, this is the... Okay, P, P is the... Oh, okay, it was P, but it's, uh, it is actually the... the, the it's, it's the personal one which became the construction. And it's... Uh, it can't launch because this, this chest is full. Hold on. These two go inside an active provider, and... We want to... Uh, okay, we need to add these as well. We need to add a packed cargo rocket sections to be outputted globally as well. They're gonna, they're gonna go in, in the active provider chest, and they will fly... You know what? Not even... Uh, oh, hold on. Not even active provider chest, but in a storage chest. And this should get them out of... Uh... Ah. Oh my god. Uh, this should get them out of the system. Hold on. Let's make one space underground belt. My, I, I don't have the, the construction stuff here. Uh, can we get one underground belt? I don't want to enable the requests. Uh, they are made here. Let's let's get one. And let's make uh, one filter and get one belt. Uh, so we are going to be storing all of these. And normally they should be taken care of. Bam. And bam. Normally, they should be taken by robots. Are they not? They should be taken by robots and brought here. Oh, this is the... Okay, this is the threat chest. Never mind. It should be an active provider chest. Okay. And uh, now we can uh, we can go to the, to the sun and um, come back easily. Let's go. Dimensional anchor and 60 gigawatts, which we have at the sun. What does stabilizing the anomaly mean? We shall know in a second. Stabilizing the anomaly. Hmm. I really, really, really hope that it's gonna enable us to beam energy easier to the anomaly. I hope it's gonna like bring it closer to the sun or, or whatever, so we don't have to to waste antimatter to do it. But that that may just may be a dream. <laughs> that may just be a dream. All the requester chests have take from buffered enabled, so they are prioritized over normal requesters. Ah, that way the conversion machines always get served before science pack production or something else. Wait, you, you have buffered? Uh, I don't see any buffer chests here. Any any buffer chests? Oh, just having the checkbox checked make them make them have priority. 
Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. Um, okay, save the game. Save the game, and let's let's put the the dimensional anchor. Lore, the lore. Bam. Energy capacity one terajoule. Um, so it does use a uh, sixty gigawatt. <laughs> Easy, and uh, it is low power though. What does it do? What does it do? Why, why is it low power? We, ha we have uh, tons of energy. It, it does send it. It, it. Does it send it or something? Let's have a look at Foenestra. Something happening there. Uh, nothing is happening there. What does it do? <laughs> <laughs> Great question, right? It is low power. We have we have terawatts of energy here. Come on, use the power. Use the power. Don't say it's low power. Don't say it is low power. I'm sorry, I have no idea. I wouldn't have expected more. <laughs> uh, did it... Did it increase the efficiency? No, it did not. Oh, come on. I was hoping, I was hoping it would pull, pull the anomaly closer to the sun, or you know, stabilize it to make sure that light reaches it. Oh. Doesn't Formatron say anything? Um, in Formatron, uh, in Formatron has nothing about anomaly. It has expression journal though. By the way, hold on. Uh, to infinity and beyond, I cannot launch myself. Yeah, re ready hunting. Entered a pyramid. The chamber had two ancient cartouches on the ground, one large and one small. They both ha they both had multiple glyphs on their surface. So yeah, we have we know what glyphs at the top represent. I mean, not know, but we uh, but the bottom ones uh, with circles and lines indeed. And this one we need still need to decrypt. The glyph at the center of the large cartouche cartouche seemed uh, seemed to be the most significant in whatever information the system was trying to convey. Yeah, like the, the, there's like a main glyph. Whatever the information is, uh, it is formatted like unlike anything I have else I have seen behind the cartridges was some kind of a raised cylinder containing a powerful device that I can use as a module. Models of the, this quality are so valuable that it's worth trying to find more of these structures. Okay, it's like incentive, right? Uh, go into all of the pyramids. Uh, like not only you go there to get the the image, but you can also get the module. So anomaly, some sort of huge ring-shaped artifact was found in the anomaly. Two things are immediately obvious. One, it's ancient. Two, the technology is completely different here. It was it is destroyed. Now we're repairing it. Derelict ship. Derelict ship. Uh, what was cut in half and or collided with the ring structure. Yeah, it crashed and we have the log. So, uh, again, a uh, thing which I don't, don't really know about uh, just yet is this. Every single one of the glyphs we find is attached to a co to coordinates. It's a 3D coordinate system. SV something. What is SV? Standard vector. Okay, makes sense. Uh, the coordinates of a something. And uh, here we have some of them. We have some of them. Dialed into projection vector uh, predicted target Web Galaxy Foenestra. So uh, this is uh, this is the coordinates of Foenestra itself. Huh. Maybe, maybe every single one of these uh, is actually a planet. Like, maybe it represents the planet itself. Like, for example, if we look at, um, shall I pull it up again? Okay, let, let me let me pull it up again. Thinking time. Let me pull it up again. Uh, how do we do it here? Paint. <laughs> so this is uh, Atangam. This one was found on Atangam. And uh, what if each symbol basically represented a location? Uh, I mean, it does represent a location because it has uh, coordinates attached. So there's one set of coordinates for one symbol, and it basically represents this pyramid's location, right? 
So we have the we have the we can have the coordinates like the the 3D vector coordinates of every single symbol, which I am assuming for now that are, is uh, is linked with its pyramid and basically represents the planet. Now we don't I don't really know what these mean. They seem like they are cutting the triangle, like there are, there are cuts to the triangle. So there there are the uh, ring at, at the top, ring at the left, and then a cut, right? It might represent, uh, like, this cut. This is the cut, and with this we have eight coordinates which, which, we, which we can input. And then this one, right? It has a ring at the top. But there is no cut like... Uh, like it's not it's not possible to make cut like this. We can make a cut like this. Like, this one doesn't have any, any balls. This, this has... Uh, this is the cut like this, I guess. So there's, like, a, a, a ball at the top and a ball at the bottom. A again... Not sure what these balls represent. We can we, we can cut this, but and then there's like the middle one. There's like the oh wait uh, the middle one is this one right? This is the middle one. But it has like only three symbols, like the the central one and uh, these three at each, uh, each at each corner. So the the top circle, uh, like this circle, is it this circle? I don't, I'm not sure, uh, but as uh, as Revan said, you're making assumptions. Yeah, but I'm making careful assumptions because we have to make assumptions in order to progress. But uh, we we need to remember that these are assumptions, and uh, they can be invalidated at any point. They're not uh, they're not set in stone. They are temporary temporary theories. Whatever happens, I assume that I am wrong. So you, you never know. You, you never know because these are uh, yeah there are temporary assumptions. Just need to remember that these. Uh, Again, not set in stone, and don't take them for truth. I mean, uh, I'm taking that for myself. That's my mindset. Uh, always try to... Guesses are not assumptions. Uh, you could say, yeah, you could say guesses. Okay, I, may, I, I might be using the wrong word here. Uh, guesses would be more, more correct, yeah. It's, it, it's a temporary guess. Um, and the very, very interesting part is that these are kind of split into a lot of different uh, shapes. Like, there is one uh, inverted triangle like this, which actually matches this one. And there is a circle around here, which... Is it this circle or is it this circle? Mm, and then there is, like... But, uh, again, these are straight lines, but these are not exactly straight. But can we say that they represent the same? Can we say that these are basically the straight, straight lines? Uh, they are... They do look similar in the way... If you look at the, at, the, at the background, you can see these lines. These lines going from the center to the, to the edges, like the, the, the radius uh, stuff. And these are the same, right? Oh, no, there are, there are less here than here. But there is like this internal ring which might represent this ring, and the external ring which might represent this ring. So there is a connection between this circle and this circle. But I have no idea how to, to link this information just yet. But again, as Revan said, we need to look at other uh, other pyramids in the solar system before. And um, current, what we, we what we can currently do is try to determine what this uh, dimensional anchor is used for uses uh, to stabil as a stabilizing point. What if we try to enable... What if we try to enable... Uh, like, to have it uh, to have it here? Can we... Mm, I almost want to uh, be able to enable it. Can we uh, attach it to a wire? No, we can't. Like, I don't want to have it always enabled because uh, I might forget it is here and... <laughs> maybe just place it... You know, like, the constructor have, have placed in the chest and then place when necessary. Although, like, it's, it's draining power, and it's it's stabilizing the anomaly. Maybe uh, maybe it needs to be stabilized after it's powered, or... Um, because here, as you can see, there is, like, anchor. There is anchor um, symbols. Maybe uh, maybe one uh, this building contribute to the anchoring. Maybe it needs to be anchored. Uh, I'm not sure. And then there is, like, uh, target. Anchor target. Wait. Wait. I'm having. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna emit a guess. I'm gonna emit a, another guess. So I'm not sure why it says low power, but I'm gonna emit a guess that we can uh, basically attach this anomaly because it doesn't belong to a normal space. Uh, we can attach the anomaly to the sun, to any sun, right? 
for example, this sun can is now uh, attached to the, to the anomaly. And if it's indeed a, like a warping stargate, we can attach it to any sun and we can, uh, we can target it anywhere. And this will allow uh, a sort of warping. For example, if we, if we want to go to this sun, we can... Uh, oh, wait, it needs to be a target. Uh, I'm not sure. But anchor seems to be origin. Like, anchor is a, can, can be the source. So the anomaly is anchored uh, at Kaelius at right now. So from Kaelius... I don't know. I don't know. We need to try anchoring the the anomaly to another planet. But again, it it's, it looks to me that it's something that needs to be done um, once it's powered. So we we have we still have the powering, we still have the powering problem going on. Let's power it and fire. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's power it up. Guess maybe true uh, assumption. I think it is true. Okay, so if uh, according to this definition, I'm I'm not making assumptions at all here. Uh, it's all guesses. It's all guesses. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's power let's power it up. Let's power it up. But should we should we power it? Like I think like intermediate powering is is useless. We have to power it fully. We have to power it completely. So let's let's put this um, this anchor of in in a chest for now. Let's put it in a storage chest. We can we can place it using robots uh, anytime. But what I'm really wondering about is the low power. It, it said low power. It always have low power. Um, maybe we need. Maybe we need to place several of these, not not just one. And how many? So yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's power the anomaly first. So let's go. Let's go back home. Oh, not not here. Power it first, indeed. A launch. But because because if you think about ships, like when ships uh, drop an anchor, they uh, get attached to a location. Dropping an anchor means uh, getting attached to a point. So uh, since considering this anomaly doesn't exist in a 3D uh, space, uh, we might just uh, it might just get attached anywhere. Does it affect the traveling time to the anomaly? Like if we attach it to our sun, maybe it's uh, attached by default to our sun because uh, if you if you remember the way uh, the way the ship went to the anomaly was uh, leaving the solar system. It went all the way to to, to here interstellar map, and then we uh, we saw it for for a millisecond here, and then it disappeared from the map. So it went into fourth dimension, whatever. <laughs> uh, so maybe, uh, and then it took like two minutes or like one minute to go to the anomaly. So maybe stabilizing it to a sun means like having to attract to the sun, making it making us travel there faster. So we, we can try to verify these uh, theories by trying to go there, try turn on anchor and fly. Yeah, that's that, that could be. But the thing is, we won't really know because uh, it might be already anchored to uh, to Kaelius, so it's not. Like, we can do that, but it's not going to verify, I guess, right? So let's try. Let's try. Worth trying, uh, always. Uh, go to the shipyard. L let's try that. But, again, I'm really worried about the fact that uh, it says low power. <laughs> so, um, let's put it uh, anywhere. Unless it blows up. Hope it doesn't blow. Yeah, look at the electricity. It tries to get electricity, but it... Draw more. It's fine. You can draw more. You have uh, 500 gigawatt to draw from. 400. You can draw. Maybe we need more. Just just more of these. Maybe we need to, uh, to build more and um, and see if it's possible. But for now, let's try. Should we build more already? Let's try. Let's try going there. But uh, to go there, we will need to exit the system again. Which is uh, which is gonna take us time. You know what? Let's bring everything we need. Um, let's bring everything we need to make more power. Uh, we want to be able to reach 10 gigawatts uh, any, anyways, right? So we're gonna go there. But before going there, let's let's drop some of the stabilizers to see uh, how it, it goes. So this is the items that we will need in order to make in order to make uh, in order to make this. So 200 one to ones, 200 two to twos, and we need four times this much. 
it says capacity one terajoule. So maybe it's only when uh, it's only when something is pulling uh, pulling from it. Ah, uh, true, true. Uh, that's a good guess. But low power means uh, it, it it's not drawing more than it should. Like it can draw more, but it doesn't want to for some reason. Because low power is something that the building itself uh, must fix. Like just draw more. Like we have power. So this is the part I'm not getting. Let's get the reactors. Let's get the... So we need 48 per build. We need 48 of these, 72 of uh, turbines and 24, um, 24 reactors. So let's get everything we need. Let's get 50 from here. Oh, that's exactly 24 uh, times uh, 3. We need three, 3 more of these. Uh, we need 48, so we need, uh, we need more here. Let's have this one go to 100. Because we every time we need two for uh, two for one, so this is fifty, this is one hundred, and this can go to uh, one hundred and fifty, because we need three. Uh, of these we need seventy two, but for now let's take everything. Let's take everything. Then we will also need oh man, we don't have nakum plates here. Do we have plates? Do we have plates? No, of course not, because we are we are we are making we are making science. But speaking of science. Planet, moon, planet, moon. Hmm. Let's drop these. By the way, how is uh, how is Novice going uh, iron and copper wise? Uh, it's at the top, Novice. So how is iron behaving? Iron is good. Iron, as you can see here, the, 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 there are two trains full with iron ores, which are ready to uh, to come. So iron is doing very good. How uh, is the production? So the production might be uh, might be not enough. Like we, we might need to expand some production. Let's do some expansions um, next time. But uh, the material testing packs are they being built? That's the main main question right now. They are not, and they need iron. So yeah, we we, we do like iron. <laughs> we do like iron. Need to expand it. Okay, uh, let's do that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna start earlier than usual, and uh, at the beginning maybe uh, some of you guys are uh, only joining after a certain hour. So uh, while there are a few people, I'm gonna do some uh, basic expansions, and uh, once we have more iron, uh, we can uh, proceed with um, with the lore. Let's do that because we, we need everything. <laughs> if we don't have stuff, we cannot continue. Uh, let's put these inside. Uh, let's put everything here. We we need mostly uh, heat pipes. Uh, by the way, we, we never request an aquarium plates. We we never request plates here, right? We only request them through the uh, through this requester. But uh, this, I think, we need to to disable it. Uh, do we have aquarium plates here? I think I have removed them. Yeah, no aquarium. Okay, good. No no aquarium coming from here. And we need plates coming from um, the base. Let me drop some. It's the last thing. Uh, last thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do today because I need to be stopping. We do have some plates here though. Let's let, let's put the let's uh, let's put the plates we have. Um. Yeah, this is fine. Input some plates we have here. Just so these are made. And uh, we need to grab some trains. Oh, we have trains here. And I think we, we have... We might have some... Oh, there was a chest. Yeah, this. Um, yeah, we can we can definitely add trains when needed. Let's get, let's get some landfill. And let's place a station requesting uh, iron... Uh, Naquium ingots. We can copy it from below. From this base. Not this one. Any base needing uh, needing aquarium ingots, aquarium plates. This one, right? Yeah, everyone is wanting them. Everyone needs aquarium plates. That's just how it is. The state of affairs. Bam, bam. And yeah, let's use this one. Okay, just need to rename the station here. Uh, yeah, we need the station itself, of course. I remove these. Oh, 
What did I do? Hold on, uh, go back. Go back. Uh, I didn't copy the correct station, did I? <laughs> I might have copied the... Yeah, I didn't copy the correct one. Yeah, there was no train on that one. Okay, uh, copy this. And you are gonna be renamed to be... Uh, signals. This one. Spaceship. As all uh, others. And that's it. All we need to do now is to add a train. And we're good. Oh! Almost good. Filtered to be the plates. So uh, we're not, not gonna be getting uh, these anytime soon, but... <laughs> oh, we didn't need to copy. We can just copy from here. Oh, we will need to... Oh. And set it back to be the Anacreon plates. Okay, so now the request uh, is gonna be inside the chest, if necessary. And let's add the train, delivering them, although it's not gonna be able to exit just yet. But soon. Oh, there's one train. Oh no, the, the train is uh, configured to be the one for... Let's use the two remaining stations. Should we... Because there are two stations which are not used, but uh, right now if we... Uh... If we use all of them, it's not exactly ideal. Let's uh, take this and expand. Something like that. This is basically a blueprint for uh, for like stations. And what we can do is uh, copy the train. Wait, uh, which one is? Usable? Oh yeah, this one. Let's just copy the train. Put it here. Oh, it cannot snap to the... <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Andy Gaming with the raid! <laughs> How are you doing? Unfortunately, I'm about to stop. So, uh, yeah, uh, welcome, welcome, but... Uh, uh, might not be the best moment. <laughs> But uh, we are welcome anyways. We are um, fixing some issues and the, the main, uh, the main uh, goal, the, main, the current main goal is to enable the anomaly and have it, um, have it work. The, the Foenestro one, enable the Stargate and learn about the, the secrets of the pyramids. Naquium. To that, uh, go to the provider until full, then come to this uh, location. Oh, we need to rename the station before. This is gonna be the Nakuno plates. You know what? Let's do, let's have two stations. Nakuno plates, if I can find them. These, yeah. So uh, come to Come here, bring them to this uh, storage chest, yep, in activity 2 seconds, and then uh, bring them to the provider of this allocation until empty. Okay, uh, now let's have you wait here. Oh! Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back. Uh, come back here. Oh my god, there is no way for it to turn... <laughs> <laughs> it, it left without the cargo wagons. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cut a rail here, so it's not, it's not able to leave. <laughs> and let's get some cargo wagons. Poor, poor train. Let's also get one more, because we want to have... Uh, two. Are you still streaming? Hello again. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to stop. I'm about to stop, unfortunately. It was a long 12 minutes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I have to stop. But uh, again, guys, tomorrow, uh, for those who want to be here, I I'm going to be streaming earlier than usual. I'm planning on streaming at 9 uh, p.m. Uh, Japan time, which is basically two hours earlier than usual. Uh, to be able to do a lot of things. That's the plan. That's the plan. So if you're able to join, I'm glad to... I would be glad to see you. 
second train here. And it should have the same uh, same stuff. Okay, and then you can go to the to the provider, and of course you cannot find any, which is uh, normal. And here we go. We have two trains uh, which are able to deliver uh, the plates to this location. Uh, problem is we don't have enough plates, and I'm waiting to unlock uh, teleportation. Man, the teleportation is gonna enable us to. to I mean, again, it's a guess, uh, not an assumption, but. Uh, Uh, like it, it's it, it can be uh, intersurface, right? Depends on the surface. It's for yeah, like they talk about surfaces. So I mean, uh, if not, that it's 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 pointless. Uh, Eight a.m. EST. Thank you. So yeah, eight a.m. EST. That's the time for tomorrow. Uh, the plan of tomorrow. First of all, uh, fix some iron. <laughs> it's been like guys. The iron production we have here has been lasting for ages, for ages, which is incredible. But we just need to, you know, do this. But uh, not like that. I'd like to improve, uh, improve the uh, the beacons and whatnot. Add more, add more stations here, and maybe a couple of mines is gonna be uh, done first thing tomorrow, and everything else is gonna be uh, afterwards. Now, one issue with this is. Uh, uh, the fact that we can we can use uh, we, we can draw from uh, we can have three belts uh, going from these chests because the trains which are feeding iron inside these chests are right in front, so we can we can go we can go higher we can have uh, three belts, so we can have uh, five more belts going out into the two new uh, even like uh, have three, double the production double the iron production, easily. And that's gonna be a uh, moon, 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 asteroid belt, yeah. That's gonna be the uh, the goal, initial goal. And then, uh, again, I'm, uh, you know what? Before before going uh, to the pyramids, I think uh, we should be trying to, uh, we should be trying to power up the Stargate. I really want to see, like, because we are able to do, technically we are able to, to do so. We are able to power it up completely. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, if we have the resources to build like everything, uh, but we should be able to power it up. We should be able to power it up. And uh, I'd like to see what uh, what we can achieve. If if it's a teleport, if if it's a, a, a sort a teleport of sorts, imagine the the traveling the easy traveling time to uh, to, to to the pyramids in other solar systems. If it's because I mean Stargate teleportation, it's it, it's the same, right? Everyone watched Stargate. <laughs> that's that's a guess, but it's uh. I'd say it's a good guess that it's teleportation, uh, but it, it sounds like a pain to configure uh, to configure the proper um, proper uh, proper icons. But again, we don't know, and we shall discover it tomorrow. I mean tomorrow <laughs> uh, for next room. And by the way, guys, yeah, uh, for the arcospheres, if you want to showcase your arcosphere uh, blueprint, bring it tomorrow or any time, and uh, we can have a look at it. I'd like to. I'd like to see the way you have solved it. I'd like to see the way you have solved it. And uh, uh, speaking of arcospheres, are we are, are we good? Are we good? <laughs> Fees again! Oh my god! This this never ends. This never ends. Like, please work. Um. Yeah, th th there is an issue with this. Uh, maybe maybe not exactly this windmill, but this is the heavy um the heavy use the one which is heavily used. So maybe some sort of some sort of monitoring would be good because when I unlock it, it works for a while and then it stops. Maybe uh, like watch it run for uh, for like one, two, three minutes could be useful, could be beneficial. It's fine if the chest is full. We need to transform these uh, these fees. But yeah, the, the problem is this: like two two machines, they need to input into each other. This needs to input to the top. This one needs to input to the bottom. But both of them have outputs, and as long as um, a machine has outputs, it cannot accept any input. So an easy solution would, as Foster said, uh, use buffer chests, intermediate buffer chests, uh, which could be a, which could be a uh, actually it could it could uh, it could be a very efficient solution. But we we need to change the spacing like. Um, we would need to change lots of stuff, the way it's spaced, because uh, right now it's 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 way too compact. 
Why are all of the others a two by two requester and uh, that one is a normal with a separate uh, requester? Oh, it's 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 an it's an initial improvement because uh, right now we only have a th a three I think win meals where we use a uh, double catalyst setup to speed up uh, the machine um, to speed up the conversion and uh, these are uh, the ones which are. Um, having issues and this is a an attempt at an improvement which uh, didn't quite work apparently um to uh, the idea would be to basically have this request request as set requests and this one we need to read contents we want uh, the idea is to only enable these when there are two two or more items so they swing at once i thought this would this would solve the problem but it did not solve it um it was a temporary fix <laughs> It was a temper. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was a duct tape fix. I duct taped the, the the problem and it didn't go away. Surprise! It's a duct tape. Um, so yeah, let me let me try to clean it up again. I've removed one catalyst, by the way. So. Trying to remove everything from here. Oh, and uh, right now two catalysts are removed, and we are we are having the 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 initial setup, the the one catalyst setup. Maybe two catalysts are just no good. We can, we, we can actually like basically the idea um, the idea behind the two catalysts. Right now, as you can see, only two of them are working at once. Once these two finished, we need to wait until these convert stuff back, so these two uh, can can work once again, right? And uh, the setup is able to have these two uh, work and these two work, but uh, this would require intermediate chests to store the outputs from um, from these. Uh, it would sp speed up. The, the whole point of having two catalysts is to speed up the production. As of now, it's uh, it's uh, it's only it's not s speed upable. <laughs> Did you merge the inventories of the normal and requester chests? No, not merged. Basically, it's the same as before, except that instead of having um, instead of having the the, the middle requester chest be uh, the set requests one, it's the bottom one, and then there is inserter which basically pushes the item from here to here, and that's it. That's all it does. Uh, the items we need to convert are in this request for chest, but instead of taking directly from it, we are basically moving it to another one and taking from that one with the sole reason of being able, like the, the, the only reason is to be able to read from it, because uh, you cannot read from a request for chest and set request at the same time, which makes sense because uh, like the wire would be like messed up, like the signals on the wire. Uh, I mean, it could be interesting to, for example, say, uh, assign set requests to the green wire and read contents from a, from a red wire. If you were able to do this, you could you could have both at the same time. You could you could you could enable the operation mode per type of wire, but uh, the game doesn't support it. You subtract the inventory of the normal chest from the requests. That that's, that that is unnecessary. That is unnecessary because uh, the, the 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 spheres which go inside this chest are basically get transformed. These are the ones we want to get rid of because we have too many of them. And uh, when they are in this chest, they're not even counted as part of the network. The items inside a requester chest are not counted as part of the network. Whenever we have a request, it means we want to get rid of them. We want to transform them. So uh, it, it doesn't matter how many spheres they are here. All of these need to be transformed. The normal chest doesn't feed into the arco count, so those are invisible. Yeah, exactly. And even even these are invisible as well. Request for chest uh, stuff is not uh, part of the network. Uh, let me uh, let me actually demonstrate it. Let's have a request for chest with lots of modules, and uh, let's have a look at the network. It's a red wire. See, on the red wire, you don't have any uh, any modules. They are invisible in all cases. We just want to get rid of them. And uh, this solution doesn't jam, by the way. The solution of a single catalyst doesn't jam, so maybe that's the that's how we should do it. Let's remove uh, one of each here. And by the way, hold on. These are also very weird. Okay, you know what? Let's let's not have two catalysts. Two catalysts is we have established is a jammy solution because we need an intermediate buffer. 
or they won't work. And uh, this setup does not... Uh, maybe uh, in the future we can rework the setup to allow it. Because it's gonna enable uh, more machines to be working at the same time and uh, drastically increase the speed like almost twice as much. Not exactly twice as much, like the speed can be increased twice as much if we had uh, this speed up. But for now... So here we need... Uh, I have removed all the catalysts, let's just put one. Let's put an omega here and let's put a theta here. That's it. They should not block anymore. But we need uh, we need them to behave faster. Yeah, this solution is uh, is working. It's good. It's uh, we need to iterate on it to make it uh, to make it solid and sound and uh, especially like edge case proof. Uh, but the, the good point about this control solution is that you know exactly what is happening inside each windmill. You know exactly what's the purpose of the windmill. There is, um, amongst all these windmills, there is always, um, like, one input and one output. These uh, windmills have two inputs and two outputs, and these have four inputs, four outputs. So, um, like, for every, for every uh, windmill here, we know exactly... Uh, what it does, and we can control whenever issue happens, an issue happens. And the other advantage of the setup, as opposed to Kano's one, for example, is the, the fact that there are just so many machines with the recipes that uh, by the fact of having uh, many machines, it means we can do more processing at once. Even, uh, but, but even, even though, like, right now we want to get rid of fees and we have only one windmill to get rid of fees, but maybe we can make something expandable, because uh, like the reason why we have many of these is, is simply because uh, the the recipes generate fees more than others, which is why uh, we have this machine has lots of work to do. It's it's just because the recipes are like that. But maybe we can set up a solution where uh, we can we can uh, expand any of uh, of these. Um, Windmills. If we need, if we need more, we can expand more of these. Like for example, have a row per windmill. Maybe have a, have a very, uh, very narrow but um, vertically long setup, and each row could be uh, for windmill expansions. And we can design windmills in a better way. Right now, it's a bit too compact. It's good, but it's it's too compact, and it's a bit. Uh, um, and it has the issue we uh, talked about, where uh, two servers cannot feed each other if both of them have outputs. Like, we need a buffer in between. So yeah, uh, we need to iterate on this solution. Maybe one day, uh, like, one day. Depends on... Like, already uh, we can see that we need uh, this to be sped up even more. Like, one idea would be to just have level 9 models here, but that's, again, that's not... Uh, <laughs> it's not something we can afford right now. Do we even have enough of them? Productivity... We have 48, uh, but we are, we are waiting to have 60 to, to improve the Naquim production. Because Naquim is yet another thing we need uh, a lot of. Uh, problem with Naquim is that antimatter ships cannot move because we need uh, iron for antimatter. <laughs> Everything right now is uh, paused because of the lack of iron. You can see all of these ships are uh, stationed. We don't have Naquim because we don't have material testing packs. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be the the first thing to do tomorrow. And uh, after that, we shall resume our uh, space work. Oh man, it's, it's 54. Oh my god, I'm so late. <laughs> uh, I need to be saving the game and, uh, and going. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Let me uh, send you to read someone again. As always. Hope you enjoy. So, um, so many people <laughs> Friday evening. Um, uh, let's uh, read someone we have never read it before who is doing space exploration. And he uh, he's having fun in the title. Space exploration is a damn cake walk. <laughs> a professional. Uh, alright, alright, alright. We need turrets. Turrets require iron. Well, that's right. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Do you put small motors on the bus? Which bus? We don't have any bus. <laughs> we don't have a bus. 
by by the bus you mean uh, do we fit small motors in, into space yes we did uh, yes we are we are trying to send only the intermediate items which have benefited from productivity so uh, here uh, inside the request you can see uh, that we have small motors uh, large motors uh, even single cylinder engines which are all uh, sent to novice orbit because they can be using productivity models sorry I'm, I'm talking over the other person it's not very good and yeah no bus <laughs> thanks for some you're welcome you're all welcome thank you for being here thank you all uh, let me send you to this uh, person No bus. The command doesn't work. <laughs> I wanted to display the command. Oh, the bot is disconnected. Uh, I think it's uh, every every month or two, I need to recreate a new authentication token for the bot. And that's a bit annoying. Maybe I need to uh, try to configure the token to have a longer expiry. But as of now, every every month or two, I need to uh, reconnect. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's for security reasons, but it's uh, it's very annoying to having to uh, regenerate a, a token for the bot. Need to look it up. Uh, okay, guys, the red is starting. Thank you all again, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.